hey guys this is the first intentional video i'm doing in oh, in like almost a month plus and this video is a rant guys is a rant just first my name is amaka dumije if you're new here welcome no need for too much talk i am here to rant guys the topic of this video is can someone be pregnant without having pregnancy symptoms like now i can understand why some people go for things like surrogacy things like yes there's a joy in carrying your child of course there is there is a joy but guys i've not been able to post any video in almost a month that's if it's not even more than a month i've not been able to do anything useful with myself <laughs> this pregnancy is just the direct opposite of my first pregnancy the direct opposite my first pregnancy i didn't feel any i didn't feel much symptoms i wasn't spitting i'm not constantly vomiting though because i tend to know when i want to vomit and just stop eating and just stop doing anything so i'm not really vomiting like that but then maybe if i try to brush after i finish eating then definitely i will vomit so I just try to balance it by just reducing the number of times I like <laughs> guys this is so funny because I've never imagined myself being that pregnant lady that will take a break from work like farm I'm literally on a bed rest that will the hospital gave me three weeks now the three weeks will get to almost when my first trimester is ending but i still want to take some days off some weeks off from my if i can from my annual leave or even maybe if the doctor still give me another certified sick leave i don't know the state of my body or how my body will be by the time i'm done with my three weeks if i'll be ready to go back to work now why am i on bed rest i'm on bed rest because i started spotting me hey god me that in my first pregnancy i was all over the place i was jumping on containers i was doing things i've not even jumped on any container guys <laughs> oh my god guys tell me in the comment section if you have multiple kids how has the experience been were all your pregnancies the same were they different how different were they you know i just really thought to do this video because i just want to i remember when i and my husband were planning our life and we said okay we wanted to have like our kids back to back if we can but this pregnancy is making me want to change my mind i don't know if it's going to change as it continues to progress i pray it does because i can't afford to always be sick like guys i'm always sick i've been on my bed for the past three days i'm in my room right now i've been on my bed for the past three days guys <laughs> like i feel so unproductive i just feel like and i can't stand up because i don't want to risk I, it's not like I can't stand up. I can stand up, but I can't like do a lot of things. I can't move around. I can't. I can't do a lot of things. To be honest, yesterday I took my daughter for immunization. Just small driving that I drove. I still feeling so uncomfortable. I had to drive back home as soon as I could. I actually had other runs to do, but I had to send my nanny to go and do them because I didn't want to risk it, guys. Like literally. This pregnancy wants me to treat it like an egg. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is so funny. So funny. Oh, God. Anyway, I thank God for my group of YouTube, what I call them, motivators. So, I mean, this group where we like, we like motivate each other. So, some of them already inboxed me and already know my state in terms of like the fact that i'm pregnant so because they, they knew that i was consistent and they've not been seeing my videos and they've been so supportive you know 
cheering me on talking to me in fact they're the ones some of them give me this idea of you know just putting clips together and uploading them since i don't want my pregnancy to be public i could upload them you know and then after a while like maybe when i decide if i ever decide to show it which i don't think i will this video might be coming out after i've delivered so if i've delivered tell me congratulations in the comment section if i've not tell me congratulations still but i guess i would have delivered when even though it's still a long way to go but hmm, it is well so yeah this is me coming to just rant and say why why guys why why does it have to be like this why why do we have to do this why is there can can pregnancy symptoms be managed can other things that can be done like is there anything that can be done guys tell me because i still have other kids i want to give birth to so tell me <laughs> tell me tell me please tell me my people because this is number two and i'm already feeling like this when i go for the other journeys what will happen so yeah this is me just coming to rant and say like this is i'm nine weeks gone nine weeks plus gone and this is the state of things i can't do anything i can't eat i can't i can eat oh no i can eat ah oh. in fact this baby eats but i can't like you know when you're eating you're hungry and you're eating but the food is not digest it will i say digest it's not digesting it's just hanging in your tummy that is my situation right now so the food is just hanging in my tummy it's not going down so guys share with me your pregnancy symptoms these are early pregnancy symptoms these are regular for most parents most mothers so let me know in the comment section what your early pregnancy symptoms were how severe were they did you ever have to go on bed rest did you ever have to take break from work you know guys funny story let me tell you the backstory no i think i'll tell you guys the backstory in another video that's if i've not already told you guys in another video but yeah this is what this video is about just early pregnancy symptoms how i'm feeling right now because i'm talking to you guys there's already saliva accumulating in my mouth and i'm trying so hard not to yeah so tell me in the comment section what are your symptoms if you're a man have you had a baby how was how was it with your spouse or your partner you know just share in the comment section you know and motivate some first trimester moms or moms that are preparing to um like preparing to get pregnant preparing to give birth i would do another video where i would share like the things you should know before getting pregnant because there were some things i knew before getting pregnant but i didn't take those steps and right now i'm having the repercussions and i'm going to share all that in another video so yeah so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye